So yo, hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Malik Sterling. If you are new to my channel, please make sure you click on the subscription button down there so that anytime I drop a video, you get notified. And um, also, I want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers, to anyone who has subscribed to my channel, uh, who has subscribed to my channel, and also those who have not subscribed to my channel, but, you know, just come around to just um, see my video. I still say thank you to you. Hopefully, someday, you subscribe to my channel. So, um, it's been a minute since I dropped a video on my um, channel, uh, because I've not been too well. Uh, some flu and um, emotional problems, and here and there, but... Yo, thank God, I'm well, I'm fire, alhamdulillah. Yeah, so in today's video, we're going to talk about um, living in an Arab country as a black African. Alright, so living in an Arab country as a black African. And I've listed some points that I would like to um, emphasize on. So, yeah. so first off, you need to um, stay on course. You need to know the reason why you're in this country. I believe um, whosoever living in this country had plans before they came here so for me when i was coming to this country i didn't have much of a plan you know like um, to come and then be rich and all of that no i just wanted to uh, make my mom proud you know just uh, make sure she's proud of me and then uh, maybe if later i want to impress the streets or just want to impress the friends here yeah, we go ahead with that yeah so the first point will be making sure you stay on course don't let anything divert your ways or make you um, fall off you know yes yeah so secondly you need to have a backup plan all right you definitely need to have a backup plan because first of all you don't speak arabic you don't speak hindi which is going to make it difficult for you if you don't have a backup plan here it's okay people speak english here but you know it's just this kind of english may go may come <laughs> this kind of english so you need to have a backup plan so for instance you're in a company and then your company decides not to work with you anymore you need to have a backup plan. You need to know what you're going to do next. You need to wake up in the morning, go stand in front of the mirror, then be like, yo, if uh, my company doesn't want me anymore, or if I'm kicked out of this country today or tomorrow or tomorrow's next, what am I going to do next? You definitely need a backup plan. And also, you need to be careful the kind of friends you make here. Yo, so back in 2019, when I came here, I had a whole heap of friends, a whole lot of friends, a couple of friends. And uh, I made sure to categorize all these friends. Okay, that was nice. That was nice. I mean, I had so many friends, so I had to categorize all of them. I had friends that, you know, every Friday or sometimes when I feel like, oh, yo, let's go outside and chill. Yeah, I'll go with them. I had friends that, if I need advice, I'll just pick up my phone, contact them, and then, yeah, they will give me advice. And I had friends who were just random friends. We we talk to them, then we don't talk for. Um, for the next three months or a couple of months so yeah you need to be careful the kind of friends you make too and you may you need to make sure you don't fall prey to um um to the influence of bad friends yes because uh, there are a lot of people here with so many culture differences so many um style of living i mean so you need to be super super careful with the kind of friends you make here and also you need to be very careful with the um, with who you tell your plans or your ideas, okay? Because not everyone likes you, okay? So uh, maybe, for example, I've been here for 15 years, okay? Just an example, I've been here for 15 years. You just came three days ago or just five days ago and you have an idea of uh, uh, putting up a building in your country or you have an idea of starting a business. Okay, so you need to make sure that this friend you're talking to is the right person you're talking to because people might discourage you they'll be like no don't do this do that so you need to be very careful who you share you who, whom you share your ideas and your um, decisions with and also you need to um, know what you want yes if you're in this country you need to know what you want okay so i would say this i believe everyone traveled or everyone is in this country for a purpose okay so most people will say they are here for money okay definitely yeah most people will say they are here for money most people are here for just vacation most people are just here for traveling sick they just want to travel that's all so they are here but for me if you ask me the reason why i'm here 
I would say I want to build a career. I want to find myself. I want to. I'm sure if you're able to build a career, then later all this money or all this luxurious life and everything will come to you. So now uh, there's this friend of mine who has not been in this country for so long. He's just been here for a couple of months, like eight or nine months. He called me, I think, three days ago. He was like, "Bro, uh, I want to change my company." I said, "Why?" He said, "Because he's been working for. Um, uh, he works." 19 hours, 17 hours per, per day, but the salary is still the same. He complained to his company, and they don't seem to be doing um, anything uh, to change that. So he told me he wants to change his company. Now I told him, change is difficult, first of all. Change is difficult. So if you just sleep, you wake up, and change is not easy. You know? And also, there is one more thing I would like to touch on, which is um, the level of racism um, of some companies in this country. Can you imagine um, there's a job opening, you apply for it, you get there and then they're telling you it's only for Filipino nationalities, um, Philippine nationalities, um, Indian nationalities and whatsoever and whatsoever. Like I don't get it. What, what, what makes us um, what makes us not to qualify for this particular job that um, this company or that company is um, requesting um, people to apply for? Like, I don't get it. You apply for this job, you get there, and then they tell you, no, I'm sorry, it's only for Filipinos. Same thing happened. There was this lady, she was telling me she applied for the job. I mean, it would have been nicer if when when they put the job online, they say, okay, it's only for social and so nationality. I mean, no stress. You don't need to spend your time applying, emailing them, or anything of that sort. All right. This will be the end of my video. Um, thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please just subscribe it on the subscribe um, the subscribe button and then make sure you click on the bell button also to um, so that whenever I drop a video you get notification or you get notified okay but don't keep press press so I'll tell you a joke there's this friend of mine he's also a youtuber okay uh, he told me there was a time he lost 30 subscribers and he didn't get it like he doesn't know why he keep on losing subscribers um, day in and day out guess what what is happening actually his auntie, his mom and his sister, they have no idea, you know, they are they are good people. They, they have no idea about this YouTube and things like that. So, now when this guy starts his video, he's going to go like, Yo guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you hit on the um, button down there, subscribe, and then blah, blah, like that. So, whenever the mom opens this guy's channel, he sees the red button, he clicks on it. Or he just taps on it. Now, if the mom has already subscribed, if she touch or she clicks it, it's gonna unsubscribe, right? So the one keeps on subscribing and unsubscribing. <laughs> All right, so that was just by the way. All right, so um, thank you for watching. Let's make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for um, more videos. All right, thank you. See you.